Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our late afternoon update. I'm Victoria Holmes here in the digital studio. North Carolina State employees hired in 2021 and beyond won't get certain health benefits once they retire. The decision was made as part of the 2017 state budget. Officials say this affects any state employee hired after January 1st, 2021. Those new state hires, like teachers, will no longer get free lifetime health care when they retire. If, this, if the state decides not to follow through with the 2017 decision, it would be responsible for nearly $30 billion in future benefits. This doesn't affect current state employees, only future state employees, and will not affect any pensions. State, su state Superintendent Mark Johnson says $60 million in school construction grants are going to five North Carolina districts. That includes Carteret County, which will get $10 million. The money will help cover costs in building new classrooms and several buildings at West Carteret High School, White Oak Elementary, Croatan High School, East Carteret High School, and Broad Creek Middle School. State health officials are sharing their revised plan for administering COVID-19 vaccines. The new plan will allow anyone 75 years and older to receive a vaccine in the next round of vaccinations beginning in January. Governor Roy Cooper and his team say the revisions are meant to align with the latest recommendations from the CDC. They note it will still, like be, it will still likely be several months before anyone who wants to get vaccinated will be able to do so. And those $600 stimulus checks are hitting people's bank accounts. Our sister station in Raleigh reports on when you can expect your check. The Treasury has the ability to deliver five to seven million paper checks a week for the stimulus. But in addition to those checks, it also has to send out checks for other federal programs. So it has to space them out. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin announced direct deposits had already started going out. And indeed, some folks woke up this morning to find stimulus money in their accounts. Everybody who made $75,000 or less is eligible for the $600 payments. If you file jointly, each spouse making under $75,000 will also receive $600 apiece. Here's how that will play out. Direct deposits will continue into next week. Paper checks start going out today, and on January 15th, all payments will have to stop because the Treasury can't issue all payments by January 15th. Legislation says you'll need to file a 2020 tax return and wait for the IRS to give you that money as part of your tax refund. Now, the IRS does have a Get My Payment tool that can tell you when to expect the payment. But the IRS website says that tool is offline right now, being updated, and won't be available for a couple of days. A North Carolina appeals court is ruling in favor of a baseball team sued after a foul ball hit an 11-year-old girl in the face. Angela... Angelina de Blasio was sitting on a picnic bench at a Durham Bulls game when she was hit by a foul ball. De Blasio had surgery to correct several dislocated teeth and broken bones in and around her jaw. The North Carolina Court of Appeals sided with the Durham baseball franchise because of a long-held legal precedent known as the baseball rule. The rule holds that teams are not liable for injuries if they, have some, if they offered some protected seating to fans. At Durham Bulls Athletic Park, the seats closest to the home plate are guarded by a net. Thank you for tuning in to our late afternoon update. I'm Victoria Holmes signing off for the last time in 2020. Everyone have a great and wonderful New Year's.